What is this man doing? He is playing beach buggy with his EV. But this is no Tesla. What's going on? In the world of EVs, there seem to be a division. Those that are Tesla and those that are not Tesla. The non-Tesla EVs are constantly being compared to the Tesla vehicles. Welcome to the first video of our series, Do It Like Tesla, where we try to recreate the Tesla experience using non-Tesla EVs. Now, what is something that Teslas can do and no one else can do? That is acting like a game console, which allows you to play the game in your EV, using your EV's hardware. And uh, this is a Hyundai Kona EV, which is clearly not a Tesla. Today, I'm going to show you how to play beach buggy racing, just like a Tesla, but using the Hyundai Kona EV. Let me show you how our setup works. All right. So what do we have here? Uh, it's a little bit of a complex setup, but what we have is a cell phone right here that's mounted to the center of the steering wheel using a flexible tripod with this phone mount. Now, could you just duct tape it to the steering wheel? Yeah, you could, but I think this is a little more elegant. And uh, it's plugged in to the vehicle's USB. And this is where the magic happens. Uh, we're running Android Auto, and the software is actually a screen mirroring app. So what this means is Android Auto's display will show whatever the phone is displaying. And the uh, touch screen actually works. So let me show you. There we go. And I can pick this. And then, you know, we can pick all the options and we can start racing. So with all this set up, what I can do is actually play the game using the phone as a controller. Now, because the phone is mounted to the steering wheel, whenever I turn the steering wheel, it will turn the phone and I can play beach buggy racing just like on a Tesla. So I've just explained to you our hardware setup, which is a phone connect to the vehicle through Android Auto. Um, I'm not going to go into detail about the software side because it's not very straightforward. So what we have to do is to unlock bootloader on our Android device and then root it and install a whole bunch of software which involves a lot of trial and error. There's some patching needed for the screen mirroring software to work with Android Auto. It's a whole thing. So I'm not going to go through the software part of the setup. The other thing that the Tesla gaming console is famous for is the ability to play The Witcher. I think we're gonna make it work where we can play The Witcher on the Kona. Um, I, I think there's a way to do it. And make sure you're subscribed for that. Because what we're using is screen mirroring, um, there is a potential for abuse where you can overcome Android Auto safety features. Um, I feel like I shouldn't have to say this, but don't play games or watch videos while you're driving. It's pretty dangerous and it's pretty reckless. Enough talking, let's get some gaming going. Here we go. Easy street. Uh, let's play this one. I don't think I actually played this one before, but uh, let's see. Okay, now what you will notice is that the latency is pretty bad. So the cell phone will always be maybe one to half a second ahead of this. So it's going to be pretty hard to control. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to be looking at the Kona screen while I'm playing. So, oh, this is not going to be easy. Ooh. Ooh, okay, boost. Ah, darn it. Okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so hard to control this. Oh. oh. Yeah, you see how the latency is making it really difficult. Oh. 
Okay, there we go. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing this. I'm halfway through the race. I can do it. I can do it. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Come on, come on. Let's boost. Let's boost. Oh, sorry chicken. Oh, another chicken. I didn't mean to do that. It's not because I wanted the KFC. Ooh. Okay. Alright. I'm about a third through this. Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, I'm back, I'm back. There we go. Okay. Oh. 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 Oh, I flipped the car again. Darn it. Okay. Let's do this. Let's make a turn. Some seagulls. Goodbye, bench. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Okay, I'm almost at the finishing line. Let's do this. Let's boost through. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, I probably failed the mission, but um, hey, it works. Now that you have seen how this setup works, uh, I can definitely say this is not as enjoyable as playing the same game on the Tesla. Uh, one of the main problem is there is a lot of latency between the phone and the vehicle's display, which makes playing this game really difficult. Now, it's very interesting to uh, try and replicate the Tesla experience. And, you know, this entire complicated setup, is it practical? Of course not. But does everything have to be practical? Not really. Which brings me to why we try to replicate the Tesla experience. The point of Tesla's ability to play games using the vehicle's onboard computer is not because everyone needs a gaming console in their vehicle. That's not the point. The point is Tesla vehicles are equipped with powerful hardware, which allows for capability and flexibility in their software. When paired with over-the-air updates, Tesla vehicles can have software features that others do not have. And this is the big advantage that Tesla has over other vehicle manufacturers. In the future, software in the automobile will be just as important as hardware. Thank you so much for watching our video on trying to replicate the Tesla gaming experience. Uh, please let us know how you like this type of videos and subscribe to our channel for more electric vehicle content. My name is Solomon and as always, we'll see you on the next one.